This is Darshana Gauchen with your B2B Cambodia market update for June 27, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was up today by 1.21 points or 0.29% to 412.24. Total trade volume was very, very light at 86,781 shares changing hands at a total trade value of 385 million Khmer real or roughly 93,700 US dollars. On the main board, five stocks were up, with Pestec Cambodia leading the market, up 2.79% or 60 real to 2,210 real per share. The Phnom Penh Autonomous Port followed in second, up 1.10% or 140 real to 12,840 real per share. Other stocks up were Grand Twins International, CamGSM, and Acleda Bank. Only two stocks were down. Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ was the biggest loser of the day, down 1.36% or 30 real to 2,180 real per share. The other stock down was the Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority, which was down 0.29% or 20 real to 6,940 real per share. The remaining two stocks on the main board, Sienicville Autonomous Port and MJQ Education, remained flat. Meanwhile, on the growth board, JS Land was up by 2.05% to 3,480 real per share, while DBD Engineering stayed flat. Trade volume leader of the day was Camp GSM with 29,716 shares changing hands at a total value of 72.1 million real, or roughly 17,560 US dollars, accounting for around 33% of all shares traded on June 27th. Acleda Bank once again followed in second in terms of trade volume, with 23,925 shares traded, however still recorded the highest trade value of the day, which was around 181.1 Khmer real or 44,000 US dollars. In other business news, Singaporean listed company Silver Lake Access Limited, a fintech and digital banking solutions provider, has formed a strategic partnership with Chipmong Group, one of the leading Cambodian conglomerates with assets across various sectors in the kingdom. This marks the entrance of Silver Lake Axis into the Cambodian market, as the company expands its presence across Southeast Asia beyond traditional banking technology. The company works in technology, software and financial services and serves 40% of the 20 largest banks in Southeast Asia. Under its strategic partnership agreement with Chipmunk Group, Silver Lake Axis will deploy its QR Agora Cloud digital solution across nine general merchandise stores and two express stores which fall under Chipmunk Retail, with the aim of streamlining operations, enhancing efficiency through automation, and elevating the digital ecosystem in Cambodia. The Khmer real to USD strengthened slightly to 4,110 real per US dollar, while the US dollar index was slightly down to 105.90. Oil prices were largely steady on Thursday as a surprise build in U.S. stockpiles fueled fears about slow demand from the world's top oil consumer and countered supply concerns stoked by escalating conflict in the Middle East. Brent crude oil futures were up 43 cents or 0.5 percent at 85.68 U.S. dollars a barrel. Gold prices inched higher with the market spotlight on key U.S. inflation data that could offer cues on the U.S. Federal Reserve's next interest rate move. Spot gold was up 0.3% at 2,303.80 US dollars per ounce after falling to its lowest level since June 10th. US gold futures edged 0.1% higher to 2,314.40 US dollars. Shares fell Thursday in most Asian markets ahead of a key US inflation report due Friday that might point the way ahead for interest rates. Benchmarks dipped more than 1% in Tokyo, Hong Kong, and Sydney. Over in the U.S., the S&P 500 futures fell in the morning after the S&P 500 rose for a second day. S&P 500 futures and Nasdaq 100 futures dipped 0.22% and 0.28% respectively, while the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 72 points or 0.18%. This was Darshana Gauchen with your B2B Cambodia Market Update for June 27th.